I vow with all my might to love you like Christ loves his bride, the church. The perfect relationship created by God to be the perfect purpose of marriage. A love full of mercy and grace, sacrificial to the point of death. With the role granted to me by the ultimate authority, I vow to lead our home in love, humility, wisdom, diligence, and strength, walking in a manner worthy of our calling. Purchased by the blood of Jesus, we live as no longer our own, but belong fully to God and therefore are imitators of Christ. I promise to lay down my life, even as Christ fulfillingly laid down his life on the cross for an undeserving people to cleanse and sanctify. For as a man nourishes and cherishes his own flesh, so I will love and cherish you. I promise to be your partner and your helper, to love you and respect you, to honor you, to submit and strive to be a crown for you. I promise to make my relationship with God my greatest priority so that I may be equipped to love you to my fullest capacity. I promise to seek truth and understanding, be humble and quick to listen, patient and forgiving, faithful and honest, loving and supportive, and to help you lead our family. I'll love you forever, even when it's hard and when life gets messy. And I promise to never lose sight of the significance of my vows to you and of our covenant of marriage. Just don't have like Isaiah to come up and join us at this point. Today is a special day because we're not only celebrating two lives becoming one, we're also celebrating the coming together of a family. And so the, the challenge is, isn't just being um, a loving husband laying down your life for your bride, but your responsibility is not only just to lead her, but to lead your home. Your responsibility to teach your children who God is, to lead them in the way. And so today we want to take time to pray and celebrate not just two lives becoming one, but becoming a family together. So let's pray. Now that you've exchanged your vows, demonstrated your commitment to one another, in the giving of rings here today before God, your family, and friends, and according to the law of God and Him alone, I do now declare that you are right now husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. It's my privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. David Lewis.